uh, we have learned that phase portraits, uh, phase plane analysis is a technique which can be utilized to analyze the qualitative behavior of second order nonlinear systems. Uh, we have studied phase portraits for different systems and utilizing those phase portraits, we were able to describe the qualitative behavior for those systems. Uh, up to this point, we have not learned how to construct phase portraits. And in today's lecture and in uh, the next lecture, we shall learn how to obtain phase portraits for uh, nonlinear systems. So there are different techniques which can be utilized. Uh, for example, there are computer algorithms uh, which can be utilized to construct phase portraits and uh, there are analytical approaches and uh, there is one more method which is called method of isoclines. These two methods, uh, these two methods uh, are quite uh, difficult for uh, nonlinear systems. Therefore, in practice, you will be uh, mostly using this technique to construct phase portraits. However, for the sake of completion, we shall also talk about these two uh, methods for simple systems. There are different uh, computer uh, programs that can be used to uh, construct phase portraits. For example, you can use uh, Simulink and uh, XY plotter over there. Uh, construct the nonlinear system in uh, uh, Simulink and then use XY plotter with uh, one state uh, connected to X axis and the other state with the, the vertical axis of this xy plotter. Uh, another approach is uh, this uh, MATLAB program. Uh, there are many other programs uh, which can be utilized. You can of course write your own program to construct face portraits. This program is written by someone and I like the, this program therefore we shall uh, use uh, this program uh, to construct the face portraits. Uh, analytical methods, uh, these can be utilized for uh, simple systems, simple differential equations and uh, to some extent for piecewise linear systems. Uh, method of isoclines is more general compared to this uh, analytical method. It can be applied to more uh, general systems. However, you will see that a lot of computations are involved in this approach. And although you can construct phase portraits for system of any complexity, however, uh, computations are much, much uh, larger. So let's uh, talk about the first approach. Uh, so uh, we uh, start this program. So here is uh, this program, P plane 8, written by someone. If I run this uh, MATLAB program, this uh, GUI uh, is opened. I do not know whether it is visible to you or not. Uh, but uh, anyway, I cannot increase the font, uh, I think, for this program. Font. So, anyway, I explain it. Uh, here you have x dot. x dot is equal to uh, this first equation. And uh, the second state is uh, y. Uh, they have named uh, first state as x and the second state as y. Uh, so first state uh, and its derivative and the right hand side of the equation you have to write it over here. And likewise uh, for the second equation you have to write uh, the right hand side of that equation over here. And uh, uh, here you can specify the axis that is uh, x uh, axis starts from uh, here by default it starts from minus 2 and its maximum value is 4 and likewise for vertical axis minus 4 to plus 2. So let's uh, enter uh, this uh, obtain phase portrait for this system using that program. So we have x1 dot equal to x2. So here what should I write? x dot equal to uh, y. So, and in the second equation, we have x2 dot is equal to minus 10 sine of x1. So, minus 10 multiplied by, using the same, same syntax of MATLAB, sine of uh, y, minus 10 multiplied by sine of y, uh, sine of x, 
sine of x and then minus y. So we have uh, entered this thing and simply uh, click uh, over here proceed and it will uh, start uh, this uh, thing and uh, here if you click uh, at any point uh, for example corresponding to this initial condition we want to see the trajectories so if you click it and it plots the trajectories corresponding to that particular initial condition right uh, for example corresponding to some other initial condition uh, let's say this one this is the trajectory and uh, these are trajectories corresponding to different uh, initial conditions uh, let's uh, increase the increase the axis and uh, change the axis from for example x axis from minus uh, let's say uh, minus uh, 10 to plus 10 and this vertical axis from minus 4 to plus 4 and sketch uh, the face portraits plot the face portraits so we have uh, this uh, graph and corresponding to uh, this initial condition let's say uh, this is face portrait corresponding to uh, that particular initial condition and uh, corresponding to this initial condition and uh, then uh, let's say corresponding to uh, this initial condition we have this situation so uh, what is the behavior of the system it is uh, focus stable focus we know that is after oscillations it will settle down to this equilibrium point for for example this uh, initial condition for this particular initial condition it settles down to this equilibrium point uh, this was the equation for pendulum uh, what is difference between this equilibrium point and this equilibrium point right so here uh, this equilibrium point is again in the downward position but it is after one complete rotation and uh, likewise uh, corresponding to this initial condition so this is uh, the most convenient uh, program that can be utilized so x dot is equal to uh, x1 dot equal to x2 and x2 dot equal to minus uh, x plus uh, let's take uh, some numerical value for epsilon so let's take it to be equal to 1 for example uh, and then uh, 1 minus x1 square x1 square is here x square which is x multiplied by x and then uh, whole multiplied by y so if it is not visible you can do it uh, at your home uh, this program can be downloaded from internet and uh, here is uh, the uh, face portrait and for certain initial condition we sketch it for example corresponding to this initial condition so this is the face portrait for that particular system and uh, for this particular initial condition and likewise for for example this initial condition we sketch it we plot it this is phase portrait for corresponding to this initial condition uh, direction of arrows uh, direction of trajectories those can be seen from the direction of arrows over here so what is uh, the uh, behavior of this system it is a stable limit cycle all the trajectories are finally converging to uh, this uh, trajectory this closed trajectory and uh, this initial condition uh, for this initial condition trajectory again finally converts to uh, this uh, limit cycle for this uh, initial condition trajectory converts to uh, this uh, uh, limit cycle so it is a lim stable limit cycle as we have already discussed for this particular system so this is your homework you have to use matlab to generate the phase portrait 
portraits for uh, systems in exercise problem 2.3 uh, in the book by Hassan Khalil. So you have to use this MATLAB uh, command to generate these trajectories.